Oh yeah! What's up, peeps? Mike Gross here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. That's Guns N' Roses with Patience. And the tuning for this, double flat, whole step down. Um, you gotta do that if you wanna play along with it, okay? If not, you can tune standard or whatever. <clears throat> well, you can't do like drop C and stuff. It won't work, but go ahead and if you don't know how to do it, look at some of my other lessons on tuning, and I have double flat in there, or a whole step flat, whole step down, and figure out how to do it off of that. It'll show you how. Okay? And once you tune up and ready, let's start. I want to, before we start though, I want to explain, a lot of times with strumming songs, and it's not always just acoustic strumming songs, it could be electric too, I'm trying to keep the integrity of the guitar player from the band, of the song that we're doing. Um, in that, I have to say this, they change it. When they play live, things change. Things aren't exactly the same way as when you hear it on the CD. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes they're just going with the flow. Um, where your chord changes land is the most important thing, and trying to copy the feel of it as much as possible. Okay, so, having said that, <clears throat> keep that in mind, I'm giving you the, the basic strum of this. Start with C major. 3A, 2D, open G, 1B, okay? And we'll go down, 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 up, and do the same thing on G major. 3E, 2A, open D, open G, 3B, 3 high E. And do the basic same strum. Or we can, actually I'll change it a little. We'll go down, 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 up, down, down. That's a real common strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So we'll alternate it, we'll have two strum patterns in this. And then back to C major, same strum. Let's see. No, now we'll go down, up, up, down, up. We're gonna do three. I'm really gonna throw you guys for a loop. Curveball, man, watch out, it's gonna hit you. And then E minor. And we'll keep that strum the same. We're not gonna throw another curveball. So, let's see. So. Then back to C. Keep the same strum. Yeah. And then G major. And then we go to D major, which is 2E on the high E. 3B, 2G, and open D. And you can hit the open A with it. See my thumb? You'll watch guitar players when they play, you'll see their thumb there. Most people don't notice that unless you're playing, learning, or already a current musician. That's to mute out the low E. I'm not pushing it down, I'm touching it so it's deadened. Now I can hit all five, I can hit all six strings, but that one will be muted, okay? But on that, I'm not going to show the little changes, just strum through. But it's a longer strum, like... So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you'd repeat the whole progression. C major, G major. C major, E minor. C major, G major, D major. Okay? That's one of the hook main parts in Guns N' Roses. Patience. Just a little patience. You know. So anyways, like I said, if you want to tune with this, go for it. If your chord changes are fast enough to keep up with them, definitely go for it. If your chord changes are slow, don't even sweat it. You can keep it in standard tuning and you want to work on seeing how fast you can change from a C major to a G major. That's key, guys. I know that from teaching 20 plus years. If your chord changes are taking this long, and there's nothing wrong with that, guys. We've all been there. Then why bother playing along with the song? Wait till you can get them, and part of your practice, just move your, your fretting chords you know, from your fretting fingers here. You don't even have to strum. Just see how fast you can change from one chord to the next, okay? And then from that to the next chord, or whatever. We're going C to G, G to E minor, C to G, G to D, all that. Once that part's in place, then you're approaching being able to play along with the actual song. So keep that in mind, not just with this song, but with all songs. Power chords, it doesn't matter what, what the chords are, or whether it's a solo or anything, all right? So, my name is Mike Gross. I'm going to take off here, man. i got another lesson to do. And uh, my website's coming this month, by the way. RockingGuitarLessons.com and June of 2012, we're in there right now, June of 2012, I'm not sure the release date yet. 
I have a few little hang-ups, but nothing major. But um, we'll be offering um, a song a month to anyone who joins the website. It's very cheap, man. It's very affordable. And there's lots of stuff that you get, okay? So be looking forward to that. I know I am. And also my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash, slash rock. Hey, get it? Slash? Get it? Slash rock and guitar lessons one. If you're not a current subscriber, I hope you become one now. And if you have questions, I will hook you up, man. I won't leave you guys hanging. I'd rather you ask me than not know. And I get back with everybody, usually within the same day. All right? So peace, guys. Practice. We'll talk to you soon. And like I said, I got another lesson to do. I'm a nut.